Hello, I'm Louise Giblin. I'm a member of the Royal Society of Sculptors and I'm at the Mal Galleries visiting my friend Amy Birnbaum, who is a member of the Royal Society of Painters and Watercolours. And they've got their annual exhibition here this year, which is fantastic. Um, I particularly love Amy's work, so I thought I'd talk to you about one of the pieces here. Dick, can you go in and have a look at that closer so I can talk about it? So, this piece is called The Last Call, and believe it or not, it's actually all entirely in watercolour. Could you go a bit closer so that you can look at the details, actually the surfacing, because what I find fascinating is that I think of watercolours as potentially quite a flat medium, um, very two-dimensional, flat on the surface. And what I find fascinating about this is that there seems to be almost like a layering of what looks like ink, but is sort of like dark and light painted colour, but with touches of little textures on the top, which remind you of when you are looking at, for instance, you're looking at somebody who's got curled um, hair and the light will hit it in different angles on different areas and you'll also get the texture of the hair and I love the way that this pulls this person forward of the people in the background who because they're slightly softer in focus and there's less detailing on top of them they're fading into the background now the this piece all together you might need to have you could you pull back a bit so you can see it all? Thank you. This piece, all together, is to do with a young woman who to me looks like some sort of good time lady. I mean, she may be somebody who's working in this place or it's like just a, like an elegant young flapper of the 1930s period. Um, but she's in a place, an e a place that looks like a nightclub or somewhere or a hotel where she's gone out in the evening all glammed up. She's sitting at a table, um, and I've just been told by Amy that they they had they quite often had telephones on their tables. So, because obviously people weren't walking around with mobiles to contact friends, so they can make phone calls outside um, to people outside. And she's received a call that's clearly really thrown her and really upset her. And the story of this. And I can see it if I look at this bit of text here. I don't know how Amy does this because these look like they're printed, but they're, they're actually painted. And this looks like a piece of newspaper, and it's actually telling of the invasion of Poland by the German forces. And so this is a young woman. Um, knowing that Amy's background is, uh, she's interested in Jewish history, I'm guessing that this young woman is somebody of the Jewish faith who recognises the horror of what's going to happen because the Nazis have been growing in strength in Germany and they have been riding on the back of anti-Jewish uh, anti um, hate so that that's made them very popular and I think this is a feeling that the party's coming to an end. In the, behind her, she's got a man listening in who could either be a gentleman who's interested in her because she's beautiful, or he could be somebody overhearing her conversation because he's a German sympathizer. You just don't know. But it's just like a feeling of people watching and considering what's going on and wondering where their best interests lie. But you can be sure that this young woman is in quite a frightened state. And down here are letters, often in Amy's work, in fact, I think in practically every one of Amy's work I've seen in the last couple of years, there are nearly always letters or postcards. And I think these signify the idea that people she's in contact with, because they're melting away and disappearing, that these people are beginning to disappear too, or she's losing contact and doesn't know what's happening to them. So it's quite an extraordinary image. And it's funny because something that is so colourful and so vibrant and lively also has an incredible feeling of the darkness behind it, the sort of fear behind that.